Hello, my marvellous sausages. Bungie really know how to make a unique and strange exotic, and the Deathbringer is up there as one of the weirdest. Not only does it look like something we nicked from Omnigal while she was having a kip, but it is something devastating in terms of firepower, and it delivers it in a very unique way. Aim above their heads, then release the trigger, and a volley of void orbs will come showering down and seek out their targets. If they fall long enough, they'll reach maximum kicking power, illustrated by the yellow numbers and it makes short work of big groups and bosses. In other words, you really need it. Plus it's got a catalyst that you can get from running strikes, crucible matches and gambit, which basically makes the dark descent, that's the time it takes the orb to drop, achieve full power more quickly. So how do we get this sexy beast? Well first of all you need to have owned Shadowkeep and have completed the campaign so you open up the weekly bounties and Eris's memory quests. Specifically what you need is the quest of Sai motor in your quest list. Now as part of that quest line you need to pick up the Lunar Spelunker bounty. Now once you've got both of those things this is what you need to do. First off complete the Lunar Spelunker bounty which means completing K1 Logistics, K1 Crew Quarters and K1 Communion. Now once you've done these you'll get a firewall data fragment that you turn in at the end of the K1 Revelation Lost Sector in Soros Harbour. You need to go to the room on the right and then you'll acquire the Broken Necklace of Cy motor. That's what all these memory quests do. You get a, a particular artifact from one of Eris's dead fire team. You need to do something with it in order to finish the little quest line. Now in the case of the uh, broken necklace of Saimota, you need to go and kill nightmares on the moon with arc abilities. No weapons, just abilities. Best bet, go to Soros Harbour, give a few arc ability kickings and you'll have that finished up in no time. Once you've done that, you want to pop back to Sanctuary and you'll see the portal open next to Eris. Jump through that, go and have a bit of a chin wag, and then when you've finished and you've opened the chest, then you will get a new quest called the Symphony of Death. And this is how it all begins. So here we are in Sanctuary, and you can see we've got a new point on the map called Symphony of Death. This is the Circle of Bones on the Moon. Now, uh, this is uh, the Summoning Pit Strike, but uh, I'll show you exactly how to get there here from Sanctuary. You want to take your way over to Archer's Line here. You could also take a nice sparrow for a spin. Maybe you've got the new quadricycle. Who knows? That should be for sale soon. Yes. Well, anyway, um, so we want to go through Archer's Line here. Here, and then we want to make our way down through the top. So I'm just asking about you, really. But we want to go through the broken. Uh, what's this called? It's like an observatory, really, isn't it? Yes. Go through the broken observatory here. Yes. Watch all the gits and turds and bum pipes. And then we're going into this lovely, spooky-looking place that we probably haven't been to for bloody ages, actually. Unless, of course, you've uh, been doing in the summoning pits. So down we go, and uh, then we're going to get down to this area here. Carefully, don't break your ankles like I nearly did there. Actually. I'm very good at breaking my ankles. It's uh, something I do frequently uh, down here follow <laughs> Follow the way to go. Don't get stuck like an ass like me. And then we're going to come out into the Hall of Wisdom. Uh, but you really want to just be jumping across here. Don't engage anybody. It just encourages them. One, two. Now then, that extra little thing you can see on my screen there is for the memory of Vel Tarlo. And we're working on the... Uh, the other one we just did was the uh, for Sai Motor. So just ignore that. That's something that I have to do with my hunter because I haven't done that, completed the memories of my hunter yet. Here we go. Ooh, moths. Hello, moths. And then we're going to come around this area here. And then we open up. You'll probably recognize it, actually, uh, because you go to the left to the summoning pits. But what, what you're going to do is just go over here to the right to the circle of bones. Kid, any gits you might have around. Hello, knights and shites. Yes. And then you can see here we've got the Symphony of Death quest. So just start that baby and in we go. It's a very straightforward mission. Just keep on going until you meet Toland. So here we are at the summoning pits. There's Toland. Now there can be a bug here, uh, which I wouldn't recommend you do because it means you've got to restart the mission. You've got to trigger the respawning restricted darkness zone, really. Because if you come in and kill her straight away, you can bugger it up and uh, not get the mission to finish correctly. So run in, kill some turds. Oh, I've accidentally... No, I haven't. I haven't killed her. That's good. There we are. Respawning restricted. And now we should be okay to finish the mission. Now, in order for the mission to activate and Toland to turn up, you've got to kill everybody in here. So just make sure you do that. Pick up the silent skull. 
There we go. So the next steps, we've got three things we need to do here. First of all, we need to do a public event near the Hellmouth. Easy enough, just mark it on your map and then that will get you the Festering Bone and also do the Lost Sector K1 Revelation as well. Completing that one will get you the Ritualistic Bone. Yes, look at that. And the final part of this is to go and get the Bone Collector's Marrow. Gross. Now the Bone Collector can be found here in the Anchor of Light, but unfortunately it's a random spawn so we just gotta wait until the git appears i generally hang around this area 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 here by this funnily tunnely thing uh you might find him just around here but patience is the key for this i'm afraid folks here we go look just as i said it the, the swine has appeared he's coming towards me here so once you see him kill him kill him kill him dead Lovely. And there we go. We got his marrow. It's that simple. Nothing excessively interesting to do there. Next step of the quest. Here we go. We've got to defeat something called the High Conductor in the Scarlet Keep Strike. So you don't have to go and do a special version of this. You just want to go to the moon map and start the Scarlet Keep off from the uh, director there. Then you just need to run the strike until you get to the elevator section. And then once you get off on the second stop of the elevator, that's where you'll find this High Conductor. Although my teammates did kill it incredibly quickly, but you just got a quick glimpse of them there. Kill the high conductor on the second floor there and then go up and finish the strike to get on to the next step of the quest. Next step, we've got to record our combatant screams. Now basically what that means is that we've got to kill red bars, we've got to kill mini bosses and then bosses. You can see there just by finishing the strike I've done 10, 11 and 12%. One thing you want to make note of here though, it says screams gathered on the moon count more. The discomfort and the anguish cries, they're easy to get, the uh, discomfort is the red bars we're just killing any old little gits will put that up really fast and the anguished are bosses so you want to be flicking between really activities on the moon i'd recommend that you do sorrow's harbor you know the altars of sorrow and there's also the k1 revelation lost sector which is just around the corner there as well if you get a bit bored i completed those two really quickly they were done very fast and the one you're going to find is going to take the longest to get are these pained cries to get, defeat the elites and mini bosses well here's a nice little way to do it nice and quickly here I am in uh, a Soros Harbour on the moon. You can see me gesture on the map. Where am I? Look, there I am. Now then, I'm looking at this cave here, which is under the ground. It's not too far from the spa spawn point, from the spawn point. So you want to come down to this little cave. You can see this little red thing outside. And then when you get the treasure chest in here, you've got to push these buttons in order to open the chest. But if you do it wrong, you spawn a little mini boss. Look, so we, it says to shoot that that one first. We don't want to do that. We want to shoot no, deliberately shoot the wrong one, look, which is that one there. There we go. There comes a turnip, the, the wealth keeper. Kill them. There we go. And that counts. I'm up to 31%. It's 2% per one of these bosses. So just hang around in here. This is probably the quickest way to do it because it's easier to find bosses than it is to find mini bosses. Now, while you're doing this, you're probably wondering how I've got so many glowy things there. Well, I've just been popping finest matter weave and then killing them. And by the time you kill them, they drop shed loads of matter weave, which is, of course, enhancement cores, rather. So here we go. Just about to kill the final wealth keeper here and knock the whole part the quest up to 100 percent then we're on the final step we've got to kill ea air ram or whatever their name is it's a death singer now it's kind of in the same location where we started it off you know here in the hellmouth well actually in the circle of bones and the simplest way to find it of course is from sanctuary here you want to stick uh, a marker on it so you can see it flashing on your radar and then you want to make your way there basically we're going to go through archer's line through the observatory and then back down to that area that we started the quest off initially you know where we're going and here we are in the circle of bones one more time and it's not where the initial one was it's over here look easy to see right at the edge so you want to get this quest a rolling so basically we're following Toland through the mission here he is Welcome he's gonna chin wag to us as usual to eventually Toland will lead you down into the catacombs where you're gonna see the death singers so you can see here we've got a death song appearing which means, basically, at 51 seconds, I reckon you're gonna die. So what we need to do is take the shields off from the uh, from the witch, and then that drops the death song. So it's a void shield on that one, so make sure you've got access to a void weapon nice and quickly. Yes, yes. Doors open, carry on. Bollocks for the rest of them. We've got another death song. Let's go and find it, it quickly. Quickly, there it is. And again, it's void, of course, because it's a void weapon we're going for. 
Goodbye. There we are. There's the second one. There we go. Doors opening. Bugger them. Let's keep on going. Lots of worms through this bit. I remember. Achavi. Just stamp on the little kids. Here's our death song again. That's the third one. There we go. That's the end of that witchy git. And then we're going to be on to the final area. So make sure you clear all the gits out here. Once you do, and stand on the central bit in the middle there, Toland will appear. He'll have a bit of a chinwag to you, and then he'll lead you off over the bridge there in the distance, and you shall meet your final nemesis. It's a pretty straightforward scrap with old Ian Airram here. It didn't take much kick-ins at all. Then once you've killed the witch, you'll see a marker appear on your map, which is kind of to the left of where you were just fighting. You want to jump up here, and then you'll find Toland, who will have a bit of a chinwag with you and at the end of the chinwag he'll give you what you need and you can bugger off and see Eris and get your Deathbringer. And there we go, we've got our Deathbringer. Awesome. Go out there and murder loads of aliens with your Void Orb Death. So I hope you enjoyed this guide on the Deathbringer and if you did please give the video a like that really helps its reach and helps me out on the channel and if you really feel that way inclined Perhaps you could also give me a subscribe and hit the notification bell. I put out loads of videos on Destiny and lots of other little bits and bobs as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll speak to you all again very soon. Sausage eat.